What is up guys and welcome back to more little hope this game is uh, is dark it's twisted and uh, I've jumped a few times out of my seat um, not a big fan of horror games I, I do enjoy the atmosphere I do enjoy uh, a good old horror movie like everybody else but uh yeah games you know you're more involved you're more in there and uh, yeah but um, I don't know, I kind of have a sweet spot for this series, and uh, just like I did with Man of Medan. And I will probably play every game that they release. But anyway, uh, I'm not going to waste any more time. Hope you guys are enjoying the series. Hope you're staying safe out there. And uh, let's just get right into it. Alright, so continue our little walk here. I have a bad feeling about this. We'll figure it out. The way this fog just appears. That's much thicker. Yeah. It happened to us with the fog. Let's uh, catch up with the rest. I don't want to spend any more time with this disgusting thing. Okay, hey, well, we've lost the other guys. To keep up. <sighs> Jesus. Excuse me, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I think I shit my pants. <sighs> I remember there was one specific scene of Man of but, uh... Crazy. Oh, he can't even walk in there. Hey, wait for us. What is that? Come back here. There's someone else out here by the fire. What? I, I don't see any fire. I saw them too. Are you okay? This place is all wrong. Jumped so hard. Whatever happened here, it's over now. You have no clue. You didn't see what we saw. I don't get it. What exactly happened here? This young girl came out of the fog. Spoke to us. Maybe the fog has got you confused. We're all stressed out. Stressed my ass. I saw a girl dancing right here, clear as day. Said her name was Mary. Looked exactly like the girl in my dream, but... She talked in this really weird accent. Was that even American? I'm not sure. I couldn't place her accent either. What have we gotten ourselves into? This kid, Mary... Did she want to hurt you? She could have been... Malicious, I guess. They're burning up. Did that girl do something to you? We should all keep an eye on Andrew. I'm okay. Pain's going away now. Now what? Seems our only option is the road into town. You're kidding me. Got a better idea? Thought not. Well, that escalated rather quickly. All things are fine in moderation, unless... Lord, what fools these mortals be. We sometimes congratulate ourselves on waking from a troubled dream. It may be so the moment 
after death. On my travels over many years, I've witnessed many things, seen and heard many beliefs, and there's usually some element of truth in each of them. These unfortunate folk seem to be dealing with forces as yet unexplained. I mean, sinister movements in the forest, spirits from the past, a little girl who may be in trouble, or maybe she simply is trouble. Anyway, where are we? Angela isn't getting much tittle-tattle out of Taylor. <laughs> no kiss and tell. What about John? The figure of authority, perhaps. Or perhaps he represents something else. And then there's Andrew. Somewhat confused, I think. A bump to the head can do that. Let me reassure you. You help make some decisions that will be valued later on. And some that may turn out to be regrettable. That fellow in the bar. He was less than helpful. More than a little rude, if you ask me. Clearly something disturbing on his mind. Enough. There's something not quite right in Little Hope, and souls may be in peril. Off you go again. See if you can lift the fog. Find the bus driver. <coughs> right, we continue this crazy. Girl, she sounded so strange. I could barely understand her. She sure sounded like she wasn't from anywhere around here. Now, I'm tempted to say she sounded more like she was from another time than another place. You're right. Yeah, we saw the newspaper clippings on the table at the diner with the, uh, the random guy there. And it was like 1974. There was a picture of 1917. Maybe anybody in any time that... You know, get stuck in this fog is not leaving. So anyway, let's uh, speed things up here. Oh, that's warm. That's the bus driver. By the way, um. Wait a second. By the way, I noticed that these characters, I, it went right over my head, but these characters actually look like all the characters uh, that was that guy's family in the house. I thought it would be, or was, pretty bizarre. Keep moving along here. You hear that? Yeah. What was that? God. It's gotta be something small, nocturnal, nothing to worry about. I really hope you're right. You see that? Some big ass animal. I hope so. It's not. What the fuck? Might get a better view from up there. Good. Most towns of the northeast. I hope the town returning to nature. Well, we're not gonna, you know, go out and actually read it entirely series, but let's let's talk to him. How are you coping? I don't know. What do you think happened to us back there? I feel like we're in danger. There's something very off about this place. Yeah, I hear you. What is out there? Can't get over their, the, the graphics of the game. 
You need to stay calm and positive. Panicking won't help anyone, and I, for one, have no intention of spending any longer out here than is absolutely necessary. I'm right with you. Appreciate you checking in with me. Yeah, for sure. You know, it's, um, my job as a senior here. Looks like a senior, he's actually 48 years old. What? That's not right. Remember, everything went was slow in Madame Madan, and then it just went to shit. So, uh... I can already expect you know, what's gonna happen, but... Thing. Little note here on the presents the Witch of Edmonton. The whole historical society. Could this have something to do with what we saw? What could be? Uh, I guess it could, but it didn't feel like that. I don't know which is worse: ghostly apparitions or a town full of historical weirdos. Sorry, I'm just going to bring my volume down here a bit. Holy shit, we've been... We're literally walking this entire road here. Yeah, this game uh, isn't too long either. I've been playing uh, quite a few short ones there after playing such a lengthy game like Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Couple more games in the line, and then we will get back to Assassin's Creed, by the way. For any of my uh, new subscribers, thank you so much for joining. And uh, we'll be doing all Assassin's Creed games on the channel. The goal of mine that I have. There's something up ahead! Lights. Which way? Can we move it? Amen to that. Look at that! Hey, wait! Stop! Yeah. I'm just gonna say it. This is exactly what goes down in horror movies. Or maybe the group saw a girl run from them into the darkness of a Holy moly. They actually didn't open these. Andrew was anxious that the girl might be malicious. John accepted the offer of a drink in the bar of events. Don't manage to himself to the group as a fit. What the hell do we do now? I'll deal with this. Stay right here. John confronted the girl at the bridge. I guess there's different possibilities, obviously. I think she should go with him, because we want her to Hold die. Up. I'll come with you. I don't like her attitude. Deserves to. No, I'm kidding. We're gonna try to save them all. Probably lying, but uh Oh, lovely. Hey, you two! <gasps> this is not good. Oh, okay, lovely. So we're still controlling her, by the way. Kinda looked like it was him there for a bit. Oh. Hey! Anyone there? Anyone? Somebody's standing right there, dude. What? Get off me! John! Jesus. Why is it you want from me? What the hell have you done to us? Hell? 
Calm down. Breathe. Strangers are not welcome here in Little Hope. Wait! Don't go! Stay away! What the hell are you? What do you want? Look. That's impossible. It looks like her. A black tongue full of riddles. I will not succumb to a witch's spell. Right? Yes, Lord, I beg you. It does. Rid me of these apparitions. Who are you? This can't be happening. Fix your gaze elsewhere. You are no husband of mine. Because that guy, you know, he thinks his dream is of this family, right? It's not so far now. They were married. It's our best shot at getting help. You guys okay? I am very far from okay. I am terrified and confused. I just saw my own double in the fog. What happened in there? This woman came out of nowhere in the fog, dressed like an extra from Salem. She was garbling something in an accent I didn't recognize. And most disturbing of all, she was the spitting image of me. How is that even possible? You're blowing this out of proportion, Angela. I am all done here. Seems the fog won't let us go anywhere except into the center of town. The fog decides where we can and can't go? Fuck that. Uh. I'm trying another way. Don't you kids watch horror movies? You never ever split up. Those movies are dumb. And I'm going this way without you. Maybe splitting up isn't such a good idea, Taylor. No way am I going down there. I'm with John. Oh, man. Uh, we stick together. I'm with Andrew. The town isn't so far. We all go in together. Let out, Granny. No one asked you. Okay, time out. Can we all just take a breath? Think about what our next move is? We can check out more options if we split up. I'll go with Taylor. It's not safe for you to be hanging around here on your own. Two teams are more likely to find a way out, which is what we all want, right? I guess you're right. If the fog lets you through and you find help, send them into town to find us. Got a feeling we'll find help faster than the others. As long as somebody does, that's all that matters. <laughs> 